This event and All also right, so this is Arbab Sun News Network. This is Fight Night. Cancer. It is Ezra. We, this is not the main event yet. Uh, We're not at the main event, but we are getting close. This is bout number four out of seven. This is one of the white collar bouts that's gone, that's happening. These are people that are not regular boxers, but they've decided to step in the ring and put it down for the cure. These are uh, this is uh, Jeff Davis and Declan Hill. We're going to introduce the boxers, but to do that, we're going to throw it up to the ring. We're going to throw it up to Ken Avrer. He is your ring announcer. Take it away, Ken. As a reminder, it's not the biggest punch that wins the match tonight. It's an accumulation of successful punches. So here we go. Belt number four. Before we get there, let's round of applause for Sun News, our official partner in our fight for the Cure 2012. I'd like to recognize two of our personalities who are here with us from Sun News. That is Brian Lilly and Ezra Levant. Full-time personalities, part-time boxing aficionados this evening, and looking dapper in their tuxedos. This next fight is a white-collar fight. Fight number four on our stage. Please welcome, in the blue corner, weighing in at 185 pounds from the final round boxing club, Declan, King of the Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from the blue corner, Declan, King of the Hill. In the red corner, from the Final Row Boxing Club, representing the Heart and Crown Irish Pub, you may know him as Jeff Davis. Tonight we introduce him as Jeff Desert Storm Davis. Please welcome Jeff Desert Storm Davis to the ring. Please welcome Jeff Desert Storm Davis from the Fall Around Boxing Club. Ladies and gentlemen, Las Vegas odds makers have selected this fight to potentially be the fight of the night on our card. In the blue corner, once again, from the Final Round Boxing Club, please welcome Declan King of the Hill. And in the red corner, representing the final round boxing club and the heart and crown Irish pub. Please welcome Jeff Desert Storm Davis. Three rounds, two minutes each. Get it on, boys. Well, Ezra, they're getting into the middle. The referee's going to give them their marching orders, and then it's off. A sports journalist, Declan Hill, who's looked into uh, uh, fixing of matches in soccer against the manager of an Irish pub. Where do you put your money? Well, I don't know. I'm just transfixed by uh, the unitards they're wearing. That's what I wear when I go swimming, the one piece. It's actually a city bylaw where I'm from. Well, uh, off the top, Declan Hill getting in on a lot of jabs. Stop! But there's Davis getting in a body shot, but referee citing him for putting a punch through the back of the head. I'm gonna, Hill, I'm Hill again with the jabs. Now, by jab, you mean a punch. Uh, well, yeah, but it, it's a specific You're throwing type the jargon punch. around. You're throwing the jargon around. Uh, you know, you, you, I, I've watched a, a boxing match or two, Ezra. I don't know about you. Did, did they have fights in your school? 
Well, yeah, I mean, as you know, I was homeschooled, so it was pretty bad. The kids were rough on me, and sometimes the teachers got in on it, too. Yeah, earlier you told the ring girls you went to an all-girls school. I don't know what to think about you, but <laughs> right now, Declan Hill, the sports in. journalist, the sports journalist landing the, uh, the quick little flutter punches, the quick jabs on uh, Jeff Davis, the, uh, the, the manager of the Heart and Crown, one of the most popular pubs in Ottawa, but Davis moving in quickly, trying to lay some leather on his opponent. You know, I'm watching these guys, and I'm imagining Trudeau, he's a lot thinner than these guys. I mean, these guys, I think I'm more muscular for, than him, pound for pound. He's, I bet Trudeau's got the stamina, he's like a long distance runner. I don't see Trudeau, who'll be fighting later tonight, as a guy who, when he hits you, it actually hurts. Well, one of the things that they uh, they do at these matches, because this is for charity, and, and neither Declan Hill nor Jeff Davis are regular boxers. But one of the things they do is to try and, and match them up. Davis scoring a lot of points here with these quick punches, but... Wow, da Davis coming in. Hill, sorry, that was Declan Hill scoring a lot of points with those quick punches, but Jeff Davis. These guys each weigh in at 185 pounds, though. They try and match them up by size. Both of them just a little bit bigger than Trudeau, but they're also shorter than Trudeau. You know, uh... I'm a, an assessor, I'm a connoisseur of tattoos, and, <laughs> and I look at the tattoos, that, and, I, and again, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I mean, these guys have modest tattoos. I look at the tattoo that Justin is, that he has, and you know, it's, a, it's an aboriginal tattoo, but it's fake. I mean, he's not aboriginal. Where no, no, not that I think. I, I'm pretty sure the manager of the Irish pub is, uh, is Irish, though, with the green shorts. Oh, I believe you. I don't, don't mind me, I'm getting ahead of myself, but here we go. Who's that? Who oh, so, okay, so we're, there is the ring girl. We've had ring girls all night. It's a boxing tradition, but uh, they're not in the bikinis here. No, they, they are all in classy black cocktail dresses. Let the crowd know in case in case you weren't paying attention to what round it is or ronde en français. The lovely lady comes in, tells you what round it is, and the boxers to have something to focus on other than their sweaty manager in their face. <laughs> this, this is the Rocky moment right here, right? Eh? Now, both these fellas are obviously wearing the helmets, so there's no real damage to be done. I mean, sure, a nose can be broke, a tooth can be lost, although they're wearing the mouth guards, but I don't think anyone's going to truly be hurt. No, and that's not the point. Which the is point. greatly disappointing for a lot of partisan watching tonight. Well, uh, well, the interesting thing, you mentioned the unitards they're wearing. It's actually shirt and shorts, and looks a little dweebish, but, you know, the, the question is... That was Trudeau, my school uniform. Will, will Trudeau and Bra At your home school or your old girls' school? <laughs> will Trudeau and Brazo... Both, both showboats, will they come out with the shirts off? If you didn't see the uh, the video, you can see it at sunnewsnetwork.ca of the weigh-in. Brazo coming out in in a Speedo and a banana hammock. It was, you know what? It was absolutely shocking. Of course, I was totally riveted. I uh, I don't dare wear a Speedo again. Another bylaw against that. Quebec or has uh, a contract. I'm specifically not allowed to wear a Speedo. Something about, uh, well, it's just not cold there. But these fellas, these fellas are... Fairly serious. This and, and, is a white collar bout. That's a nice way of saying not professional fighters, but guys doing it for the cure. No, not professional, but yeah, doing it for the cure. They're working up the sweat though, and just as in round two, a Declan Hill, 185 pounds from Ottawa against Jeff Davis, also 185 from Ottawa. Declan Hill laying the punches, getting those jabs in and the odd right hook onto uh, Davis. Davis, though, a bit more power. This, this is going to be similar to Trudeau Brazo. I think you're right. You know, two minutes doesn't sound like a long time, but when you go in full tilt, keeping your arms out with that intensity, two minutes is an eternity. But but watch how uh, Declan Hill, a bit taller than his opponent, Davis. Davis, beefier, stockier, bigger shoulders, bigger muscles, like, like Brazo, but Hill, taller, able to keep him out of distance with those jabs. Huh. And of course, you, as you said, white collar. And the point here, to raise money for cancer research, all of these guys having a connection to cancer. And that's why they're willing to uh, to put themselves out there. Maybe next year you and I should get the ring after. You know what, I, I'm more the sumo wrestler type than the boxing type. Uh, I, yeah, I, I with, like, with an inflatable suit on. I like to play to my strengths, which is uh, just volume. Okay, Jeff Davis landing a couple of good blows there. Unfortunately, this is not about knockouts. This is about scoring points. Did he score enough in this match, in that round, to compensate for uh, round one? Is it even... 
you know, this is a great crowd. It, this place is packed. This was standing room only. This was sold out. There's some boxing aficionados here, but there are a lot of political people who are here for one fight. These fights are good. They would have whet the appetite. They're building up momentum, but there are Tories who want to see liberal blood and liberals who want to see Tory blood. Well, and, and sitting right behind us, a woman that wants to see uh, conservative blood spilled, uh, because right behind us is Sophie Trudeau. Chris Sims was speaking to her earlier in the broadcast. Wife of Justin Trudeau. we got the Brazo family on the other side. Lots of cabinet ministers here lot, and, and lots of MPs as well. You know, Brazo was in the Navy, and I love our armed forces, but i got to tell you, I bet that an Aboriginal fella in the Navy had to fight for himself from time to time. I think he's by nature tough. I don't think Silver Spoon Trudeau has actually been in a real fight ever. Well, I've been to Manawaki, where Brazo's from. I've been to Montreal, uh, at least the part that Trudeau's from. I know which one is tougher. Final round, third round. Davis coming out swinging harder this time, trying to avoid the jabs from Declan Hill, the sports journalist. The pub manager being a bit of a mauler, trying to get on in the inside and lay some leather. I'd say if I would stay away from the shiny pants, anything to draw attention away from my ass, that would be my preferred boxing uniform. <laughs> no shiny boxing shorts. And of course the shiny pants belonging to uh, Jeff Davis in the green shorts, Declan Hill in the blue. Davis is a local pub manager. The Heart and Crown, if you didn't see that, splashed across his rear end. Heart and Crown Irish pub in Ottawa. Declan Hill, he's written a couple of books on soccer and fixing in sports. The ref splitting them up again. Getting uh, a bit too physical, but not in the right way. Davis getting inside. A good jab to the head. A shot to the head, anyway, uh, on Hill. I wonder if you could actually knock a fella out if he's got those things on his head. I think you could if you had enough power and looking at those uh, arms on Davis, I think he could. Yeah. Bob and Weave, they are starting to sweat, they're starting to hop and puff. Two minutes, three rounds, doesn't sound like a lot, but... And, oh, Davis trying to clobber him now. He feels he's got him. He'll move him back a little bit. And... I would be doing that hugging if I was boxing Trudeau. I would just go for the hugs. I, I don't care what the ref would say. I want to get my hugs in because I would probably never get the chance to make physical contact with Justin again. You're still just excited. You got to touch Justin Trudeau's hair earlier. <laughs> I thought I heard the bell. That was a mistake. Maybe it was somebody getting their bell rung with the punches. It's fun being this close. I tell you, there's no blood that I see, some sweat, no tears. Justin's gonna be this close to me. It'll be like an angel crying if I get a drop of sweat from him on my hand. And of course, the important thing is we're $200,000 raised for cancer research. The boxers embracing it at the end. This is a charity match. It is a fun match. It's one of the things that, uh, they're, they're both here because they've got a connection to cancer. We'll have to wait and see who won that one. My money's on Hill, though, based on the number of punches landed. You? Yeah, well, you know what? I. Uh, if it's a point system again, I think the one who's got the energy that can just get the jabs in, even if they're light. Here's another story, and I commend both boxers for stepping in and fighting the good fight tonight. Mike Curran from the Auto Business Journal and Mark Ciancibello from Media Ball will be presenting the awards with Jean Pascal. Let me get our boxers here real quick. As they tabulate the scores, come on over, Jeff. Talk about polar opposites in style. You want to use your length and your reach to keep them off you. You want to get inside and, and turn it into a pub brawl. You were successful for the most part, but you let him sneak in into the, in the last round. What happened? I kind of fell asleep. I was, uh, it, and, and fair play to the man. He got inside, gave me a couple of those good right hooks. Fair play to the guy who's. It was good, that third round put me under pressure in the last 30 seconds, so good for Jeff. Was there pressure on you in the third round to do something because he kept you at bay? It was knockout time. <laughs> Try to go for a knockout or get as many points as possible. What was this experience like for you? Oh, unbelievable. Great experience, great training. Met a whole whack load of great people. Thank you, Heart and Crown. I would suggest you being from the heart and ground, that maybe you buy this guy the next round and then punch each other's lights out in the parking lot. 
Robert going straight to the bar to get some Irish whiskey. Some Irish whiskey is a good call. Would you like some Irish whiskey, lad? I, I would, and uh, Jeff and I have trained together. Uh, we promised each other we'd drink, and uh, I'm an Irish Canadian, and we're going to drink to those who are not here tonight. The people that uh, have died of cancer. Uh, and I invite anyone in this room to get up on their feet right now if you have lost somebody through cancer. Uh, your father, mother, get up on your feet, please. On your feet. Loved ones, heroes, get your glasses in the air. Well done, Declan, well done, Jeff. Gentlemen, face the camera, please. We have our decision. We have a unanimous decision. And the winner of this white collar bout. In the blue corner, Declan King of the Hill. Ryan, do you think that's a sign of things to come? Uh, you know, Ezra, I, I really do. Uh, uh, the fact that this is a, a point system, the reach that uh, Hill had over Davis versus Davis's pure brawn, I, I think it is a sign of things to come in the match that we're all waiting for, Trudeau versus Brazo. I know a lot of our viewers want uh, Trudeau to get their uh, his light, night, lights knocked out, but I'm not sure. You know what? Here's another thing. Is that Brazo is a street fighter, He's a military fighter, and he's a second-degree black belt in karate. That means he's not trained as a boxer. My point is, maybe he's thinking he's going to kick. Maybe he's thinking he's going to do a judo move. Something that, uh, you know, if it causes him a second's hesitation in a real boxer,